Why, hello, and welcome. Looks like I got a black eye, but I don't. Haven't been in any fights lately. See? I promise. It's all good, no black eyes. Just looks at, and I'm looking at myself going, whoa. So, how's everybody doing? What you guys been up to? Me, I've been having some fun. A couple weeks ago, my friend and I, we went over to, uh, Canada. E. I can say that because I'm from Michigan, don't you know it? Um, as a matter of fact, I'm from up north in Michigan, which is the top of the Mitten, in case you didn't know, this is the state of Michigan. This is where I'm from, right up here. Okay, I was born right around this knuckle. Right up there. And then we migrated north to just about here, because the bridge is right here. And that's where I'm from. And then you go into the Upers, don't you know? And they really have the Canadian accent, don't you know? I'm not making fun of the Canadians, I'm not. Okay, maybe I am, but I don't want to get into anything other than take it as it's fun. I'm not being derogatory. I love the Canadians. You know? Um, anyway, so we went over to Canada to the Spinrite Factory. Because they had the Spinrite Factory outlets there. And if you went to Yarnspirations or to, sorry, if you went to factoryoutlet.com, yarnfactoryoutlet.com, I think is what it is, you got free shipping, I think. And you got really good deals. However, you paid in U.S. dollars as a U.S. citizen. If you travel the four hours it took us to get over there, you get it in Canadian dollars, which I think it's Well, I had almost $100 worth of stuff and I paid $70 for it. So it's like 77 cents on the dollar. U.S. versus Canadian U.S. dollar, 77. We pay 77 cents for every dollar of theirs. Um, or at least it was both the deal on that day. So we went and we had a good time and... I'm going to start this off with a yarn haul because it's sitting right in front of me and I can't do anything else until I get rid of this bag, okay? So, and I already busted into it to start on a whip, so I kind of need to. All right. So I got cotton. Now, the bag of cotton is the Burnett Handicrafter cotton. It's 42 and a half grams, 1.5 ounces, approximately 62 meters or 68 yards. And this is different shades of blue, light and dark. And there are 10 in here. And, oops, wait a minute, you know what I didn't do? I did not have... Hang on. I did an Excel spreadsheet so I can tell you how much each one of these was. Bear with me. I probably I promise I won't be that. At least I don't think so. Really? Ah, 
There it is. You gotta love it when you label it something that you you'll know. As soon as you lay eyes on it. Like Canada. Alright. So let me put this over here. And I'm gonna put you guys over there so that I can see this just a little bit more. Okay, the Bernat Handicrafter is normally a dollar ninety nine per ball. And I got a total of forty balls when I'm done with it. I only got ten of the blue. And I paid forty six cents for each skein. Because that I didn't put it in. Oh yeah. I paid forty two cents US dollars per skein. So here's the blue. And the cool part is it was buy three of these bags. You could mismatch color mix match colors and get one free. So every time you had a bag, it was buy three, get one free. So that's one. Then pink, red and white and pink. Hey, it almost matches. But we'll get into that in a minute. Um, let's see. And then we have creamsicle, which is orange and yellow and there we go, orange, yellow, and white. I have ten of those. And 10 Green Dream is what this is called. This is yellows and greens and whites. So this is nice to do up uh, some washcloths. So I got that. And then... When I'm done with Altu's Afghan, I have to do something for his sisters. And one sister wanted purple sparkles. So I got this, which is Karen Simply Soft. And I know I have one open, so I'm not going to open another one until I get to that. Anyway, it is... Violet Sparkle Karen Simply Soft Party and it's purple and I'm hoping there you go you can see some of that it's got like a gold tone at least I think it's gold tone it's got a sparkle to it so I got four bags three balls each and this is normally 429 a skein and when I get done paying for it I paid a dollar fifteen a skein It was worth the drive, folks. I'd seen this on the video that because the crochet crowd's Mikey is always there at the, the tent sales, and so he does up uh, videos. And I saw this on the video, and I said, Ooh, we gotta have it because it reminds me of the Great Lakes, it reminds me of the water in the Great Lakes. 
and this is blues and greens and all different shades. And this is Karen Simply Soft and again it's normally $4.29 a skein. Oh, wait a minute, did I lie to you guys? I did lie to you. The party was $1.35 a skein is what I paid for. This is $1.15 a skein. Because it was just a little bit, the, the party was on sale for just a little bit more per skein. <clears throat> then, because we took our kids with us. And each one of the kids said, as long as they get something. And then Sarah never got a touristy thing. But she did find some yarn that she liked and she wanted me to make something with it. So I don't know what I'm making with it yet. But here we go. Neon green. and purple and this is new I think because I haven't seen it yet so I know it's not discontinued but it's called Bernat Zap and it's a number six so it's super bulky and it's 1.75 ounces 50 grams approximately 54 yards 49 meters This is the, the neon green. I'm going to put that over there. But this has, it goes along and then all at once it's got these little like palms on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's meant to be there. They're actually like put on. So it's like they meant to, you know, it's meant to put that, be there. So I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Sarah doesn't know what I'm going to make with it yet. She's the one who has to tell me what I'm making with it. It's for her. So. Uh, hang on, I gotta get rid of this bag. Oh, there we go. Okay. They give you these humongous. Well, they, there's a box of them sitting there. And I'm going to pull you a little closer to me now. And um, there's these box of big garbage bags. Big clear garbage bags. And I think they're like 50 gallon bags. And you walk in and you fill one up and you go give another one and you fill another one up. There's no shopping carts. And I got about because there were like four aisles and I got down two of the aisles and I had to call for my pack meal which was my darling daughter um because I just couldn't carry it anymore so she did and uh I gotta tell you I thought of Pam Yarny Nana because they had the ultimate sweater machines on sale um it started out on the first day at fifty dollars and when we got there they were thirty and everything was buy three get one free so if you'd have bought three of them you'd have got one for free I know weird huh but that's the way they did it so anyway I uh Let's see. Works in progress. Now let's go with finished objects first because, you know, I got this thing and I'm thinking about it. And I'm pretty sure I got a finished object. So, Jesus, I can just remember what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. It's around my neck. 
my Messalina shawl. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not going to let you get close so that you can't see the, the, the mistake. Okay, yes I will. Right there. You see what I did? It pearled. And I didn't catch it until I was all the way like two rounds above it and I wasn't tinking back. So there we go. I have a case of pearls and I'm pretty sure it was on a row when I should have pearled and I knitted and so, but I blocked it today. I washed it and blocked it today. My edges are a bit tight because it still wants to curl up. Still a little damp, but I couldn't leave it on the boards no more because Sarah brought it in. We were supposed to get some rain. I had it outside, and Sarah brought it in because she was afraid it'd get wet again. So, um... I just decided, okay, I'd take it off the blocker boards. So, I did that.
Say hi to everybody. Don't be camera shy. Say hi. Do you know who's over here? Levi. And Auntie Peggy. And you don't know Shantae, but you will. And Amber. And L2. And then there's so many other people who would love you if you just look at them. Say hi to them. Say hi, Spikey. Hi, Spikey. No? He is shaking. He's got the jitters. So I'm going to put him down. Because I can't terrorize him. I love him too much. Alright, hang on. Mm hmm? Hey, no, no, no. Come say hi to everybody. Say hi. No, you're not that kind. You're not. You, are you camera shy, Rocky? Rocky, look. It's camera shy. Come on. Oh, you want me to good? Sorry. Yes, I love you. I love you. What are you doing? Are we going to play merry-go-round again? Dude, if you want up there, go ahead. Yeah, see, it's not big enough for you to be up there. Oh. Alrighty. 
Well, there was Spiky. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. The other day, I had a visitor while I was sitting here, and it was Rocky, and he decided he was gonna play Ring Around the Lisa. <clears throat> So here I was with this 30 pound cap, at least 30 pounds. And he was coming up, he came up here and he went around. And then he went behind me and came out this side. And then he came back around. And I thought he was looking to get up here and he did look to get up here, but then he decided nope. So he went around a couple more times and then he got down. I don't know what he was doing. Thought the cha scenery would change or something every time he went around me. I don't know. But it was funny. So I, I actually had the camera going. So um, if I can edit that a little bit, I will. And um, that's it. That's all I got. That's all for this week. Um, been thinking that... Um, Until the end of September, I'm going to do a uh, every two week vlog, so you guys know not to be expecting me every week. Um, just because it's kind of crazy right now. It's just been crazy. So, um, between work and other things. And I think I, uh, I'm trying not to cast on anything too big right now because I signed up to be a test knitter and I think I should be notified within the next couple of days. Um, so I'm going to have to get that done quickly. Um, and I'm not going to show you as I'm working on it. So, um, I'll show you when it's done, and after I've done my little notes regarding it, and turned in my photos and everything, um, and, uh, so I'm just going to have the sweater, the armband for Kyle, and L2's afghan to work on until I get notified regarding the um, test knit and if I don't get picked for the test knit then I'll find something to cast on for Christmas yes I'm thinking about Christmas already um, but so there you go anyway I hope everybody has a good week and I will see you in two weeks. Today is the 24th, which means that I will be back on the 7th of September. So, okie dokie. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Have fun. Have a good week. Remember, I love you. And remember, okay, wait a minute. I really need to tell you guys something. Two years ago, a girl that I knew when I was in junior high passed away she passed away because of her own hand because of demons and I would like for everyone that I know to know that you are loved you, you matter and please, please, 
If you are contemplating suicide, if you even think about suicide or know someone who is, Here's a number. Take it down. It's open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's get trained people who can help you. In the United States, it's 800-273-8255. And for those of you who are not here in the United States, I know there's help. I'm here. You can reach me by Facebook Messenger, by Twitter, by YouTube, by email. If you're on Facebook, you can get to me. Okay? Call me. Text me. I love you all and I never want to go through this again. The reason I bring this up is because the other day her daughter put up a YouTube video regarding her mother's suicide. And even though her daughter is old enough to know that her mother was driven to this point because of a mental illness. She still lives with guilt because she couldn't do more for her mom. If you or someone you know has even thought about it, joked about it, please make sure they're being taken care of. Please make sure you call someone. I'm here. As bad as my knees are, two years ago, I did a walk for suicide prevention. If I can walk to save one life, I will. And you can bet your sweet dippy that this phone, right here, isn't that far from me at all times. Send me a, a message on Ravelry. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Google Plus. I got them all. I'm here. I never want to say goodbye to another friend because they took their own life. The world's hard enough. I need all my friends. I need all my loved ones. You guys matter to me. You make living great. So if you're thinking about it and you want a reason, let me be the reason. I can't make it without you. I never want to bury another friend because of this. There's so many other fights to fight that I can't help anybody with. If you have cancer, all I can do is hug you and make you something warm. If you have diabetes, I can help you with that a little bit. I'm struggling myself, but we're going to get through it together. Alzheimer's. I can reintroduce myself on a daily basis and try to become your newest best friend.
suicide prevention, I can hang on to you. I'm strong. I'm a big woman. I will gladly hang on to you. You're not going anywhere on my watch. Call me. Text me. Message me. You don't want to call me or text me? Call the number I gave you. You matter. Not just to me. Okay. Now I'm done. I'm near tears. And I'm done. See you guys next week. Okay, two weeks.